Welcome to the video tutorial of your new control panel for your gymnasium sound system. To start, please press the green button. This will ask you if you really would like to turn on the sound system, otherwise it gives you the opportunity to say no, I would not. However, let's begin. You may want to give the system a couple of seconds in order for the amplifiers to turn on and to warm up. Once this happens, you now have full control of your sound system. As you can see, you have various volume controls for all the inputs. You now have control over every input on your system via four pages. You can go to any of these controls and tap the volume down or up. You can also ramp by holding your finger on these buttons. If you desire to mute this channel, you can simply hit the mute button. As you can see, it will let you know when each channel has been muted. If you would like to mute the entire system, we have the Mute All button. This will let you know that the entire system is muted, no matter what page you happen to be on. To unmute, simply tap the same button. On page 4, you will notice that we have the volume control for your conveniently located auxiliary cable that is right next to your panel. This is for use of smartphones, mobile devices, MP3 players, so on and so forth. Next to that, you have your master volume controls. This controls the actual speaker volumes. Here would be the volume control for your main left and right speaker out in the gymnasium, and the volume controls for the monitors to the sides of the stage, and the monitors to the rear of the stage. You can also mute these individually, as desired. At any point in time, if you feel that you do not like the way all your volumes have been set up and you would like to go back to the way it was set up originally, you can always tap the default volumes button. At that point, it will notify you that everything is back to the default setting. Also, this system has an automatic mixing function. This is useful for when you use multiple vocal microphones. However, if you do not want the automatic mixer to be on, you can simply press the auto mix button and notice that it will tell you that the auto mix is now turned off. To turn it back on, simply press the button again. If it's time to do a major production to where you need the full control via the audio console in the rolling rack, you're still able to hit the production mode button. Of course you're prompted to make sure that this is really what you want to do. Once you do this, it disables the touchscreen and sets the system up for your advanced production mode. At this point, it would be wise to plug in the console at the back of the room and operate the system with that. However, if you'd like to get back to the basic touchscreen operation, you can press the back button there and confirm that action. If at any point you seriously need help with your system, which should not happen, you have the handy dandy MAE button there that gives you our contact information. When you're done using the system and you'd like to power it down, simply hit the power button in the upper right hand corner. At this point, of course, you get a confirmation page asking if you would really like to power the system down. If so, tap confirm. The system is now turning off. That is the entire tutorial for your control system to your speaker system in the gymnasium. Thank you.